Hello, Taurus. This is your general reading with me, Cindy. For like, right now, baby. <laughs> right now, whatever energy is playing out for Taurus, whenever you're getting this video, this is for you, Taurus. So, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I started, um, over the weekend, I actually um, worked on some new spreads that I created tarot spreads so I used them yesterday for Aquarius Pisces and um, Aries so I'm, I'm gonna use it for you today so let me know what you think it's kind of fun I like it I'll probably go I'll go back and forth I don't make any rules I don't follow rules kind of know that that's where I am <laughs> ah, Taurus Taurus my bull babies okay Get the message in for Taurus here. General reading for Taurus. General reading for Taurus. Taurus. For those that need to hear the message the most. For those that need to hear the message the most. There we go. Okay, so the first card that's coming off this deck is the overall energy of this reading. So, let's see. Ooh, wow. This is going to be interesting. Hanging man, which is like the hanged man in typical terminology for the tarot deck. So the hanging man, really looking at like everything. I mean, if this is the whole reading, this is the general energy of your whole reading, looking at everything with a brand new perspective. Like, uh, wow. I mean, I feel like this is from everything from the clothes you've been wearing the last 10 years to the food you've been eating, the people you've been hanging with, the relationships you've developed, the work you've been doing, the car you've been driving, the route you've been taking to work. Like I'm getting like everything. Wow. Taurus, honey. <laughs> That's a lot, baby. Woo. That is a lot. That is a lot to be like... Does that feel kind of overwhelming? That would feel overwhelming, like, just from a personal perspective, a personal perspective like myself, whenever I've been into this sort of energy, it's usually like, maybe a couple of things, but this feels like everything, like, everything really looking at, but looking at it from a very spiritual point of view because this hangman is up in the heavens it's not on earth anymore this is a very spiritual point of view that's making you look at everything in a different way like wow I almost feel like for some of you all of a sudden it's like shit nothing makes sense <laughs> what the heck I really thought I knew exactly what I was doing and where I was going and who I was with and what I was wearing and what like it's whoa I just the only way I can describe this is like um there's a, a spiritual awakening <laughs> like very a very strong spiritual awakening okay next card your mental emotional state I hope it's okay because that's a lot that's a lot going in oh nice so this is the faith card and look ho, who energy here, whose energy is there but Taurus, the faith card. And this is a very deep spiritual process, awakening, something going on inside you. Wow, this is going to be a really neat reading, Taurus. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this for you. I mean, this feels like this is going to be very special. This is a wow. I'm almost feeling the emotion in this. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Wow, good for you. See, I, I think as a fiery, airy sign, if I, if my entire reading energy was this and it felt like it was like every aspect of my life, I'd be like, oh my God, I can't do it. <laughs> it's too much for me, Aries, all at once. But Taurus, that grounded, stable, steady, keep it going energy, you can do this. You've got this in you to do this, and you're doing it. It's amazing. I'm just like, I'm so proud of you guys. I wish I had that in me. That's just beautiful. The faith card. Looking more into this card, it's looking at deeply. 
deeply what you've been sort of taught to believe, taught to do, choices you've been taught to make throughout life, and you followed that to some extent. Um, but now really looking at that and saying, now, whoa, wait a second, wait a second here. Um, I am really seeing a lot of this stuff in a different way and I am seeing it on a deeper level. I, I am not seeing it anymore like, you know, let's imagine it was a cake. Taurus loves food. I like food too, so but I know Taurus loves food. So let's get into a food analogy here. It's like someone has brought you a cake and they have, is it a cake or a pie? Maybe it's a pie. I'm getting someone to tell me, no, Cindy, it's pie. Okay, it's a pie. Maybe it's like a bumbleberry pie. And um, they've always told you, like, the bumbleberry pie is the best pie. It is pretty good. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. And you're like, yeah, it is. You're right. You're right, Mom. The bumbleberry pie. Like, it's sort of like this is the, I don't want to call it dogma because it's, it's not, um, well, a little bit of it might be dogma, but if it's coming from mom, if it ever came from your mom, it wasn't dogma, man. No way. I don't want to hope that your mom had the best intention when she said this bumbleberry pie is the best pie that you could ever eat, that you could ever have. And you need to give everything you have into this bumbleberry pie. You need to thank all the time for bumbleberry pie. When you see peach cobbler pie, or you see apple pie, you see pumpkin pie, those pies are not good. They're not the best pie. Okay, mom, okay. So I just feel like it's that sort of like programming. It's almost like programming that has come from a deeper, intimate aspect of yourself from like a very young age and always believed that this was what was going on. And now you're like, I've learned enough in life and I've gained enough experience to know what, to really start to know what, um, what serves me well and what doesn't serve me well. And I'm really starting to feel like I've put some labels on certain things or expectations or false desires even on things that don't. And as you started peeling off some of those labels and expectations and false desires and it's like, who am I? What am I? Whoa, where could this go? Like, it's really, it's beautiful energy. It's really beautiful. I can't attribute it to anything less than almost like a spiritual awakening. Really? Okay, the next. So this is my spread. I keep looking down because I've got all the cards and I haven't memorized it fully yet. There's like 10 cards in this spread. We will pull clarifiers out when we need to. So the next card is what you need to do to move forward, the action you need to take. Oh, I don't know, it feels so beautiful. Because it does feel like you are sort of in this. This is a little bit like the Hermit card, but it's deeper, it's much deeper. This is the Faith card. It's I don't know any other deck that has this card and it's Taurus's card. Because Taurus in a sense is that energy, that planetary zodiac energy that creates these systems and institutions and the leadership and the stability in our world, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a deeper part to Taurus here and maybe we need to bring a deeper part into all of this that we've been creating. So what's the action? Oh my goodness, the Knight of Cups. Wow, Taurus, you're going deep. You're going deep here. I mean, we all know, well, do we all know? The Knight of Cups is action, action, taking action. And that's the action you need to take. I think it's great that this card come out. What do you need to move forward? What do you need to do to move forward? What action do you need to take? You need to take action towards your deeper feelings. Yeah, this is a deep journey for you. You need to take action towards your deeper feelings, Taurus. Beautiful cards. Oh, I love the way these two are sitting beside each other. Look at that. And just being like an artist myself, I love the warm and the cool playing on the colors and, you know, the primary and the, um, it's not the word I'm looking for is, um, 
complementary colors like playing with all of that because it spurs something inside you there's a reason that exists and look at the warmth and the coolness in here i'm feeling like a balance establishing a balance within yourself on that and look at how both their energies are coming together are directed towards each other right mm -mm -mm. oh taurus this is nice okay your recent past What's your recent path? Because something's happened to really, or maybe it's something that's been slowly developing, but I feel like there was a catalyst. There was something. So I feel like there was always something there that was kind of pushing you a little bit to go deeper into yourself. Really think about what's serving you, what doesn't. What am I doing here? What do I want to do? How do I want to feel? What do I want to be when I grow up? If we ever figure that out, right? Um... So what's your recent past? Gotcha. The King of Wands. Wow. So your recent past, Taurus, is someone with a lot of desire. Someone or something. Something has sparked some sort of deeper desire within you. Um, this is pretty strong energy. This is, this is energy that knows what it wants. It's pretty truthful with what it wants. It goes for what it wants. I feel like maybe that's inspiring you. Maybe that's inspiring you or it's someone. It, it definitely feels like someone. I wanna say like when, when cards come out, and they, they are the players in the court, you know, the court, the king, the queen, the knight, the page or knave. Those are often someone, someone. Or it could be a, a part of your zodiac even that you're digging into. So there's two aspects of what that could really be. So for some of you, this is someone, maybe it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe it's not but they have a lot of that or they're displaying that right now. And you've got the Knight of Cups here. But this, this is your action, right? This is the action you need to take. And what I like is that you don't need to necessarily take it to anyone else except yourself. This Knight of Cups, giving the offer to yourself, knowing that you deserve it because this energy is moving right back into you, the way these two cards are sitting beside each other. It's it's giving yourself, taking the action to give yourself that cup of love, that cup of feeling. You deserve it, right? And your recent past, has this spurred that? Has it made you realize, gosh darn it, I deserve it. <laughs> I do deserve it. Everybody does, so yeah. Oh yeah, that reminds me that my first video that ever went viral was the Leo one. And it was kind of like... Not the same cards, obviously, very different, but not believing that they deserved and they deserved some amazing stuff that was coming towards them, but it looked like they weren't going to accept it or make the leap or take it or anything. I'm like, what the heck? Why wouldn't you? It's great. And the cards, the energy told me they didn't feel they deserved it. That, God, that video went nuts. I think I only had like 2,000 subscribers at the time and it's already, it's at like 84,000 views, which for me is huge, especially with 2,000. Like there's a message there and I'm kind of getting that. Like that's why this Knight of Cups is coming back to your energy, to your faith energy. It's giving it back to yourself. There's something that's inspired you here or someone. All right, your immediate future. Oh, good for you. The Page of Cups. Like, okay, I'm moving into deeper feelings here. It's new energy. Um, yeah, uh, and you see there's a little bit of hesitation with this night. I love I love the pages. I love the pages in these. They're really depicted, like the, the page of cups is depicted as like a little, you know, dipping my toe in the water. Is it safe? How cool is it? Is it really cold? And then like the page of, of wands is kind of like, because, you know, wands are usually like, hey, baby, let's go but that page is kind of a little shy. This page is just a little bit like, is it safe? Is it okay to go? 
Can I do it? You can do it. So this is in your immediate, no, no, your, yeah, your immediate future. So I don't wanna say almost like now, maybe it's happening. Maybe somebody is coming towards you with some new, new cup energy, new feelings, new feelings, it's new. Um, or you are in the energy. We're gonna pull clarifiers to get more information about who's in this page of cups energy, the immediate future. So for me, when I'm doing this reading and um, I hit immediate future, that's like boom, could be today into the next couple of weeks. It's like, real, like, you know, know what I'm saying? From the time you're watching this video. All right, next card, your strength. What is your strength in all of this right now? Oh yeah, there's my Hercules card. <laughs> I love it, the Ace of Coins. Your strength is a brand new beginning in you, in a sense in you this is a brand new beginning and you are lifting it up on your shoulders and you are ready to hoist it up right this is your strength is this brand new beginning in you almost like you're a brand new beginning whoa you guys all wrapped yourself up in a little gift almost like ooh. you know if i had my oracle cards i would i would really feel like you would be getting butterflies like butterflies would be coming out right now it's almost like you've gone into with this into a chrysalis, into a chrysalis from the caterpillar, and you're hatching out, you're about to hatch out into this butterfly. Spread and dry those wings, start moving and exercising them, and getting used to what it is to be a butterfly. You ain't no caterpillar anymore. Ooh, nice. That's your strength. Remember that, you, the new you, the new you. This new spiritually open, awake, developed person. That's your strength, it's, that's you, okay? Okay, the energy that surrounds or supports you right now. Wow. Interesting. Who did this come up for? I think there was a couple, so, well, I've only done three readings so far, not counting yours this week. Was it Pisces and Aries or Aquarius and Pisces? I don't know. But this was a very prominent card for one of the signs. It was either Pisces or Aries. And um, it was an offer, an offer of balance here because we have this, this person, and look at whose card it is. It's you, Taurus. This is the energy around you right now that supports you. This is a very supportive time for you. There's some sort of balance that you are trying to achieve. And it's almost like a gift, an offer in a sense of balance or justice to someone else. There's something. You have, you have a lot of power right here. Like, I feel like all the coins, all the balls are in your court in a sense right now, holding this, this balance, achieving this balance. So the, the universe is, is giving you some sort of an opportunity. There's an opportunity to present something. I can hardly wait for the clarifiers. There's an opportunity to present something. <clears throat> the Six of Coins, like it brings, it really, it sort of restores harmony. It's a restoration and harmony. I don't know why there was no harmony. Well, the world is full of shit, right? So that's why. You walk out the door and it's great, everything is good, and all of a sudden, like, uh, I don't know. You see a squirrel get run over by a car and it's horrible. It's like, oh God, that was so horrible. I was having such a good day and I'm going to see that all day, right? Like, it's planet Earth. You never know what's going to happen. Okay, so the next card, number eight. Energy out there you are not aware of. Sort of like the surprise from the universe. What's coming in that has something to do with everything going on for you right now that you don't know? This is a surprise from the universe. Oh, hello, the justice card. Absolutely. Oh, so weird. Remember, what are you holding in your hand? You're holding justice. You hold justice for yourself and some, you know what? No, I'm feeling like you hold justice for someone else and this brings balance, harmony somehow. This is the surprise from the universe. Y'all got it. It's coming in. This balance, this justice, wonderful, wonderful energy. Some of you, 
absolutely. Some of you who are going through um, some sort of, I want to say, legal stuff, good, good, good stuff coming through for you. Really good. Make an offer with these two cards beside each other like this. There is the opportunity, the energy around you right now, whenever you're getting this video, whenever you're watching it, um, make an offer and you're gonna get what you want. You're literally gonna get what you want. If um, if you've involved in, I don't want, I wanna say either like the negotiations for a house, a mortgage, trying to buy a house, this is the time for you to make offers. Like you're, you are really, the, the energy around you right now is like, you're gonna get it. And if, um, I wanna say for some of you too, like if you're in uh, divorce proceedings, something like that, there is uh, an offer of justice somehow towards the other party. I don't know what it is, but it's almost like taking the high road and in that balance and justice comes in for you by doing it. There might be some sort of small thing to give up, to pass on, I don't know, like, maybe you give up the cottage and you get the house. I don't know, like, it's every different for everybody. But there's um, something definitely there with that too. But, so there's some sort of balance and offer here. Okay, so the next one is where you gotta do all your work, is where your weakness is right now, what you need to work on. Oh, keep doing your journey, baby. The Eight of Cups. So that's the weakest point in everything for you right now. But because you are, I could, I would like, yeah, oh my gosh. Because this is a lot. It feels like it's your entire world. Everything about what you know and believe, you are looking at in a new light and you're going very deep here. So what you need to work on, right? I don't want to say it's necessarily your weakness, but it is what you need to. So keep working on that. Going up this staircase, lining up all these cups, leaving them behind, leaving behind your belief system, your expectation system, um, what you thought you wanted in your cups. Leave that behind and continue to go in deeply. Offer yourself, take action towards yourself with your own deep feelings. Know what it is you need, what you want, what makes you happy on this journey, going up this flight of stairs to put something in these cups. What do you want in these cups, Taurus? Now, number 10, the last card, the potential outcome. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> the hermit card. I need more time. Well, that's very Taurus. <laughs> so that's very Taurus. I need more time. I need to reflect a little more deeply. This is, it's a little bit different from this though. There is a progression. For me, I feel that this is um, contemplation. This is a lot of contemplation, a lot of um, even making lists like, yeah, I, I take this aspect of that, I accept that, I don't this, I'm not sure about that. Like, you know, there's a lot of contemplation here. So, and then once, once you realize what it is you want in your cups, right? Maybe it's all different. It, I mean, because you are looking, I'm really getting this message, you are looking at everything in your life, from the car you drive, to the clothes you wear, to the food you eat, to the gym you go to, to the people, to, to what you do at work, to like everything. It's very big, it's very big. So yeah, you know, that's a big journey. <laughs> that's a big journey and then this is more like meditation, grounding. Like I really need to get grounded in myself here. I really need to find my own inner strength again because what I thought was my inner strength is completely been turned upside down and around. So I, I, need, to re I, I need to find that again. Yeah, that's great, okay. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> All right, I got such a squeaky chair today. I don't know if you're like, 
Okay. It's not my bones. Not yet. A few more years, maybe. Okay. Um, so the Knight of Cups, what you need to, to do to move forward. Let's get a little more clarification on the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Yeah. yeah. Look at it. It's like really looking at all of those dreams. This is the Seven of Cups. It's just before the Eight of Cups, right? There's the Eight of Cups going on that journey. So there's the Seven of Cups. What are those dreams? Hmm, do they all serve me? Am I sure about those dreams? Maybe I need to take that one out. Oh, I'm gonna take that one out. I'll take that one out. <laughs> it feels like you're gonna take out a lot. So yeah, that is like knowing what to put in that cup. What is the cup you wanna offer yourself? What is the cup you wanna offer yourself most right now? What is that cup? What is that cup? What do you wanna offer most to yourself right now? Scratch everything else out. Just pick one, pick one right now. It's a little overwhelming. What you're going through feels a little overwhelming. Your whole world, upside down, everything. Just focus on one at a time. One at a time. I mean, I did say it felt like with this card that there was some sort of, um, you know, even list making. Make a list, write down, write down your 10 cups. The 10 cups are the, that's the ultimate card, right? The 10 of cups, the happiness, the end of the rainbow, um, joy, fulfillment, and like everything. 10 things in your life, what are they? Are they romantic relationship? Are they friendship? Are they work? Are they um, health, appetite? I don't know, like whatever, whatever spurs Taurus, right? Um, and then look at it. How do you want to feel? The label that's on every one of those 10 cups. How, cup number one, let's say it's, um, let's say it's romantic connection. How do you want to feel in that romantic connection? So how do you want to feel in that romantic connection? Does that seem like that's the path you're on right now? Does that seem like that's the path you're on right now? If not, what can you do to get yourself on that path? And just focus on that cup for now. It doesn't have to be that, or maybe it's work for some of you, right? But that's the message I'm sort of getting with that. It's kind of beautiful. And it seems like the way Taurus would do it to me. Like you guys are, because you're so grounded about it, right? Fire <laughs> sign would just be out there looking, why am I gonna put my cups? Why am I gonna put my cups? You guys are like, no. I'm gonna like lay out a plan for me. Okay, you do that. King of Wands was your recent past. Yo, what did the King of Wands do to you, Taurus, to get this going? What did the King of Wands do to Taurus? Why is the King of Wands here? Oh, <laughs> wow. That's, that's interesting. So I'm getting sort of the message here that they made you feel like you needed to hang on to everything, but in a sense, it rocked everything. Like it rock, like something got rocked here. Something, the boat got rocked so much. The boat got like rocked so much. Like I need to hang on to everything I have because it's in jeopardy to be gone. Like, <gasps> Just too much rock in my boat, Mr. King of Wands or Mrs. King of Wands or whatever. Um, but yet, by rocking the boat, by rocking the boat, it's made you realize how many things you're hanging on to in your boat. <laughs> like, whoa, I almost fell overboard trying to save that thing. I don't even like it anymore. Why is that in the boat? I think it was sort of like that kind of energy. Interesting. All right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> that. Page, your immediate future is the Page of Cups. What is this? Oh, wow. Queen of Cups, sweet. Love, feelings. Deep, deep feelings here. Very deep, very deep. Interesting, these are so cute together. One is tiny and one is big. <laughs> So the page is new, and the page could also be like someone who's younger than you. Um, 
could be you, you could be younger than this person, this person could be younger than you, but there's some sort of mutual thing here with the cups. So the page of cups is something new, it could be an offer, it could be a message, and I feel like it's reciprocated, reciprocated in a very strong way. This is the queen. The queens are really deep in their feelings. The queens are very grounded in their feelings, and this is the queen of cups, so, Cups are about feelings, so this is, yeah, oh yeah. The cup spilleth over is kind of the message I'm getting with that. Uh, the cup spilleth over. All right. I'm just looking at it to see if I get something else in here. There's no secondary zodiacs like on this card. And a lot of times there are, there's zodiac symbols up there. So this is very open. This is being left very open for you if you've come to this video for a reason. So cups are also um, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer, Energy, but feels very open. So I feel like it's, um, to many of you, different, dealing with different signs. This is the gift in a sense of it, this gift of this cup. Okay, the Ace of Coins. Yeah, I think, to me that's pretty obvious. This is your strength. Your strength and your new beginning of you. Your new beginning of you. Okay, this is, this is interesting. This is the energy that surrounds and supports you right now, right? And it feels like it's like, you giving the gift of justice to someone brings balance and harmony. And in the next card, the surprise from the universe is justice. So let's see, what is this gift? What, what gift may you maybe give? Oh, wow. The Ace of Wands. So a brand new beginning in desire. Offering desires. to someone does. Offering desires, and this is a justice somehow. <laughs> Okay, offering desires. Where does this go? Let's see, stars. Let's peek in the window. Whoa. Two cards that have come out. Wow. Oh my gosh. They're both twos. Two cards came out and they're both twos. The two of wands and the two of pentacles. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Because you had the king of wands which is fire energy, there's your fire energy, and you are a pentacle, there you are. So there's like, almost like, whoa, this is interesting. So I feel like you and this other person, by offering this ace of wands, this new beginning in, in your desires, you put you and someone else having to make a choice about something. What just? The universe supports you in justice right now, which is also Libra energy. Justice, what justice comes through here? Justice. Oh, wow. Oh, the Eight of Cups. Do you remember where that was? That's what you need to work on. What you need to continue working on, what you want in those cups going on that journey in a sense. That's the justice. I can't believe how these cards are playing through. That's amazing. I'm, I'm still gonna pull cards, but at the bottom, the Hierophant, there you are. There's your card at the bottom of this deck right now. Wow. Okay, Eight of Cups. What does Taurus need to know about this uh, thing that they need to work on with their Eight of Cups? What do they really need to work on? Taking action on your truth. Take, yeah, I like that. Taking action, moving towards your truth. Really taking action towards your truth. So, because um, it feels like you're on a discovery of that right now. So that's what you're going to work on. Because that's what you're going to find, though. That's what you're going to find, which is what? What serves you? What do you want in those cups? What is that truth within you based on your deeper feelings and your deeper desires and needs in life? There's your truth. I can't believe we're 34 minutes. So that leaves us with the Hermit card, which was the potential outcome. 
let's just see what comes in after the hermit. After Taurus has, whoa, then there's quick movement. You will have quick movement to whatever it is that you want to move towards, whatever you determine, whatever happens for you, the way everything plays out here, you will go, right? It says like, I need to get grounded. I need to really ground myself again because I feel like I'm a different person. This is all different. I've gone on some sort of amazing spiritual journey here. And then once you do that, boy, everything, <laughs> looking at the card, everything is gonna move so fast. This is cancer energy um, and it's gonna move. It's gonna just, whatever it is, the chariot comes through and you get fast movement. At the bottom, as it falls down, is the temperance card. A lovely energy, balance, balance, beauty, um, a new journey in a sense, but it's balanced and it's wonderful. That's great, Taurus. That was really cool. What's at the bottom of this one? Oh, the magician. Oh yeah, you're doing it. You're doing it. Wow, you're doing it on a huge level, man. Taking on a lot. All right, so this is my brand new um, Oracle deck. It's called Wings of Wisdom. It's super cute and uh, beautiful little messages. So this is the leaving your reading. This is the message, whoops. Okay, for Taurus. Oh, you got turkey. I like it. Confidence, harvest, confidence, harvest. Good things ahead, I should say, because there's dashes. Affirmation. I strut my soul stuff in the world with confidence and charisma. Nice. So there's more to this. There's a whole bunch at the back. So enjoy the front of the card while I read the rest to you. Good things take time to grow and your time to shine will come. Practice gratitude and develop an abundant attitude because the universe wishes to bestow many blessings upon you. Know that you are worthy of receiving good things in your life. You have plentiful resources to share with others, so it is safe to enjoy giving freely to others. Be open to healing from past wounds around male energy. Connect with healthy pride and confidence to boost your esteem and give you the courage and worth to apply yourself to your goals. I think that's beautiful. I do want to touch on one phrase in here that says, um, be open to healing from past wounds around male energy. Male energy can exist within the female form too. So um, you may, you could have maybe, I talked about mom at the beginning, right? With the pie. Like if, if you had, so even I, I just getting this message that if you're like, oh, I never had any problem with any of the guy, like my dad, my grandpa, my mom, like that stuff was okay. But maybe um, a, fe a feminine, someone who is depicted as feminine in this life may have um, come off very overbearing, very overprotective, you know, like telling you what you had to do. So that could be the male energy that you need to, it's not necessarily from a guy, just so you know. So, all right, but <laughs> it's a long video. Thanks, Taurus, but that was quite the journey. You're on quite the journey. Good luck with that. Thank you for allowing me to come into that with you and share the energy and help guide you a little bit. All right, have a great week, Taurus. Till next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.